This is October 25th. How are you doing, my friends? It's every Monday we are with the World Weekly Astrology, looking a week ahead into the character of the sky, understanding the collective consciousness and market-wise. Since last week, I started to do the show front of the camera when I'm looking on the charts and expressing them for you as they are passing through my interpretation, observation, and it's more about understanding the quality of the time more than just predicting what is exactly going to happen in the week. We can understand the archetypes and what to expect. We are pretty much uh, needing to consider the big um, accords or the big planets that gradually in section of months describing in what chapter we are. Since last week, we began a new chapter as we said the energies of 2022 are already here as saturn pluto uh, jupiter mercury all moving direct right now we can feel the masculine energy in our veins in the air things are pushing forward and the collective consciousness also illustrated as crypto bitcoin moving higher and jupiter in aquarius moving direct in the sign of Aqu Jupiter moving direct in the sign of Aquarius is continuing the enthusiasm energy that we lastly experienced in February March 2021 when it was there now it's stationing there 22 degrees and by the end of the year Jupiter will move to Pisces so is it sounds uh, surprising that on December 1st Many countries, including Israel, it will start the project of, the, of vaccinating the children. I was speaking about it before in last spring as well. Uh, that from May, the Jupiter enter for the first time. And we will see the hints and then they started to push the narrative for the children. And it was 11 plus. Now it's going to be 11 minus, and this is Jupiter in Pisces, but this is to expand in another video. But we are seeing the culmination. We are just taking a span of a week, trying to see what the potential happening there and what is expected also from ourselves in our in, in private life to do, to play with the SIM cards, to have to be in luck, in luck. That, is uh, actually being in the right time in the right moment as possible that's what we need to imitate the planets so this week is the last week of october and is the last week of mars in libra mars just closed the cycle around the sun and for the last weeks we're in libra near to the sun invisible from our eyes at night at night we can see beautiful jupiter shining in the beginning of the night even before midnight you could see the greatest star if it's not cloudy i'm fascinating every day uh, here seeing jupiter shining so strongly bringing us sort of knowledge and to remind us the human rights that we need to fight for and this is what gives the power to uh, crypto into the end of the year to move higher. And this is what we need to take in mind. So Mars will appear in Scorpio uh, later in November, but will move already to Scorpio as the sun is in Scorpio. We are in the Scorpio season. How oh, I forgot to say it in the beginning. This is the time of the Halloween. Arr. We are needing to look on the places that we usually hate. This is why people putting scars, putting themselves like ugly. Sometimes you need to look in the mirror and to say, yeah, this is me. I don't like it, but this is me. This scar, I cannot take it away. This part, it's like the fearful of the truth that you are facing what you are on what the truth that you didn't want to look at. Someone lied on you. You know, we all try to make up things. Yeah, everything is fine. It's okay. Cool, cool. Yeah, how are you? Yeah, I'm fine. Where is the scar that you are tearing inside? This is a Scorpio. We need to face 
not just the the custom of the Halloween, the real scars and ugly wounds you have inside, and to do something with it because only the the chance for healing is to face what isn't that pretty in our life, in ourself, and this is this invitation. Now we must to say that when. Uh, when Mars will appear in February, in uh, November, in Scorpio, will activate a lot of anger and ugly violence. Mars is violence, and in Scorpio, it could be related to terror activities. But I think that we are already seeing terror activity on us without even people understanding or believing in it. Yesterday, I met her. I met here in Brazil a doctor from that is doing contribution from Jordan here in Brazil, and it was amazing. Yeah, this is story. So actually, I saw I came in a news in Israel that a family lost a family member due to COVID, and they wrote on the grave that assassinated in hospital name in the COVID department. So they express that the hospital department is so shocked. They are doing the best to save everybody and how family could be, how extremist people. Then I shared it with some of my dears because I do believe that the ventilators is the gas bath of the Second World War, as Uranus is exactly on where it was. And I will warn before COVID about the Second World War scenarios, okay, and with Neptune and 22 degrees. And then I spoke to a, to a doctor uh, from Jordan that here and shared with him this news. And he said, yeah, but what to do with that? And he said, when I, he said that he knows that when he sent someone to ventilator, 50% of them will not survive. They know that this is sort of a execution. But he also criticized about how people, you know, I will never put a mask in public place and other things. So, okay, of course that this is a divided thing, but this is the Mars in Scorpio and it's going to be visible. And the South Node is going to enter to Scorpio by the end of the year. And it's going to be a theme of one year and a half. Scorpio is also ruling the stock market and risk on. And because the South Node is going there, it's going to be a lot of bankruptcies and losses for those that went with a stream, with a mainstream, thinking that the system is what gives you the food to forever. And we need to look very much on Venus for the next two years because she's going to be the ruler of the North Node. And this week, Venus is doing very interesting aspect with coming closer to the asteroid Juno that was used to be in mythology, the wife of Jupiter. And this is speaking about soulmates and deep connections. So actually what I'm perceiving in this week um, is a lot of alliances, energy, completion. So in a personal life, it's something like that encouraging, yeah, you could have a chance to meet very good friends, to make some new alliances, new friendships, a uh, new romantic uh, connection as well. And we will need to take risk and not just risk, um, is about breaking the blockages and the emotional destruction about how we think and how we think we are because this week also let me just organize it because i think that the stand is is sinking to itself whoop yes uh, venus is going to be um venus is going to be squaring neptune uh, from today to in, in in the middle of this week and it's just in it's just illustrating sort of in the stock market is more easier to express to express it feels like it's a bubble it feels like it's a crash it's not real it's not the real value 
and this is an emotional level speaking because Venus is going to lead us a lot is how we are changing our paradigm or our attitude to our identity by working together and not hiding ourselves in the room how we are showing up showing off and connecting the dots people need to see us people need to interact with us and it's going to do during the week also a sextile with jupiter so it's going to be a hope i think that first of all market tendency is to continue higher despite of a feeling no it's going to fall is a bubble but this is something that creates a lot of enthusiasm and a greedy sort of energy i want more i want to go out i want to see more i want to take risk i want i want to explore press it's like edge time it's also it's also uh, it's also scorpio season so of course this is also related to the parties of halloween somewhere people that could liberate themselves through the real mask of hiding the real self by showing something that you know a bit uh, giving free expression but uh, this is so much uh, this is so much masculine energy culminating in the sky and this is about finding courage to act together mars is about to finish libra and it was in libra for one month and a half invisible we understand the win-win situation that we need to, to think and all the geopolitical stress alien says how China is declaring that Taiwan is part of them and the United States now wants to join Taiwan to the UN. It's about alliances and we just need, we just can play those sort of stories in our personal life. Uh, how to protect yourself when you are become a friend of the sister of the boss and you become, you know, you start to change the dynamics. So the boss cannot treat you like this because with the sister or with a friend it's something like this and it's happening in the geopolitics uh, as well and i feel that this is going to be a completion this week maybe to the beginning of next week of a real great organization of people connection and of government of uh, of countries alliances um, something interesting happening to the 27 28 of october when the moon is um, is ready to oppose pluto and then to oppose saturn it's all about having the balls to do to face your ha hardest fear and just preparing before mars is moving to scorpio and we are in scorpio season and something positive is coming already to the 29th 30th as it's if it's any sort of correction uh, in that is not go expected to be something uh, extreme in the next days is going to be um, like a bottom of this mini correction into uh, the 29th 30th uh, to the 29th as uh, the moon is re it will be in leo and will oppose uh, jupiter and of course, Mercury moving direct, Jupiter direct, Saturn, but they were not moving. Just Mercury start moving really. And Mercury and is coming again to meet Mars. Those are malefic, but also solve solver. They can solve issues, problems, and we will find the clarity. And this is all this energy is giving us clarity. This week is starting a little bit with confusion because our emotional victimization, emotional fears, emotional past paradigm that we don't need to let it power. It's just to see where it's all going. It's going higher. It's going to new story. You're not going to repeat on the same uh, losing uh, relationship, victimization. You need to go with things forward. Now, I must to say something that is starting to culminate. Saturn is moving direct, but it's still not moving. It's just seven degrees, maybe a half a degree moved since stopped last week. And it's going to form a sextile with Chiron. All 2021, I said about the vaccination plan and all this 
alliances, group, uh, connection, uh, contracts between other things is also showing that government could align and complete their plan to approve to approve the CDC, the vaccination, blah, blah, blah. And also they want to do what they want. It's also masculine energy, clarity for them. Okay, now they are in our hands. We are going to vaccinate their children. Please be careful. But I believe that anyhow the divine will not let it happening and people will wake up and will start to see very devil truth that we didn't want to believe, as I said minutes ago. And Saturn going to sextile Chiron is continuing about the next phase vaccination. That's what they want on the children because Jupiter will move to Pisces. And we have a real crazy month ahead that I'm so, I will speak for the next month always about it between February 2022 to April 2022. This is something global, horrific, but it seems also that could be positive after facing the horror um, truth. It's all about truth. Jupiter is a truth and Neptune is a lie and fantasy and the media. Maybe it's also going to be related in also in such energies. I would recommend definitely to Trump already to launch his project and this is going to expose people to information that never allowed to be on TV, to be allowed on main, mainstream media. We just need a real media that will be accessible to everybody like YouTube on every phone to expose sort of truth that people just didn't see, didn't know. And a revolution will come into February, but imagine if in 1775 it was an independency war and the colony in the United States against the British. Now it could be it should be something global. It's humanity, no religious uh, differentiation, but against the beast. That if you will understand that people in hospital and all the death publication were actually not what you thought or you will believe or you will we will see things happening with children you know what will happen this will be a moment of independency war global that people take back their power this will be very very interesting a sort of phenomenon and it could be completely divine orchestrated because it's in Pisces. So <laughs> it's really crazy. We in this week we are invited to prepare our engines, um, being edgy, going with the unknown, having the optimism, breaking the old pattern. Uh, melancholic uh, or uh, low self-esteem doing things uh, uh, specifically reg regards relationships and friendships we need to find people that will support us that will come that will complete part of our talents to find sort of ideas at least in the mind at least uh, because there's still a lot of frozen places of the outer planets in sky and um, how we are unifying power together in order to create something greater that will liberate us, that will solve us uh, some uh, conflicts. And what sort of risk we need to take. And this energy will apply in the markets that will continue moving higher despite of nothing is going straight line, but the tendency is higher. So, you know, it's also speaking that the stock market and all those derivatives and contracts that the alien says they are all going on the same direction they are connected in so many hidden ways and as I'm saying always we need to focus on the Venus value uh, the Venus the value in the North Node yeah it's not just for message for this week it's for the next one year even that is going it's got it's now the future of Bitcoin and all this you need to have something that is real, not just playing on. It's like trading gold on the ETF or playing Bitcoin on the ETF. No, you need to have something real, something that have real value. We, we will see why into 2023, the why. And 
even before already we will see signs in the middle of 2022 but uh, in remembering your value and not playing with something that is bubble this is also a message this week venus squaring neptune yeah and by the way i'm going just to see when venus is going to meet neptune because this square is to prepare us to the phase that will be closed uh, a moment yeah interesting it's again happening in april so venus will meet neptune in april when i'm speaking about all this plan what illusion what truth is going to reveal so don't fall into the spell this week is a sign venus squaring neptune and it will meet neptune in april when jupiter is meeting neptune a lot of truth that will release us from those blockages but we need to start taking the risk now like you are taking a risk like oh they will punish me but they will not punish you because like now in spain last week all those that received fines between march 2020 of not wearing mask in the street all fines are cancelled and people that paid the fine will get it back see so at least they know the right and they walked fresh air without the fear those that already got it but this is sort of the message now do what is divine justice that you know that is right that you are not doing bad in a karmic way but you are not falling to what a stupid monkey in the tv is telling you because you represent something that is not make sense we are all, we are needing to use our spiritual our our conscious mind you have mind also to know and if something is right or not if tomorrow your boss is telling you to start wearing um, earrings here or to paint here because you you want you know or whatever or to start kissing your wife in a different way i don't know something that is not logic and it doesn't need it's not protecting you you need to use your own mind and to say i'm not going to work with this crazy boss or i'm not going to listen to him even that he will punish me because it's not divine logic it's not it does not make sense and i'm not harming no one by refusing this even that i know they are telling us you are saving humanity when you're wearing mask you are saving humanity when you are all vaccinated where your children will be vaccinated oh, yeah and your diabetes isn't harming everybody and your herpes isn't harming everybody oh message is clear and this video is uh, of course dedicated to patreon community and become available to general public one day after and if you're singing in youtube consider to join and you will get this and more content in real time Bye for now. Good week.